spotty and shimmering. In this lab, researchers are breeding epaulette sharks. We'll palpate the females. We just sort of feel her abdomen to see if we can feel if she's got eggs. Known as a walking shark, it moves on its fins, surviving with little to no oxygen. It doesn't look really tough in terms of a shark face, and it's not very bitey, but it's really tough in terms of what it can tolerate. Making it an ideal species to study. So I'm currently working with what would be considered an early juvenile stage, so about two to three months old. Eggs have been incubated at different temperatures and exposed to varying acid levels. The juveniles are also tested in how they adapt. As babies, we know that they're a lot more sensitive to elevated temperatures. That could compromise growth, it could compromise their metabolism, and it could compromise their survival. The epaulette shark can be found along the entire length of the Great Barrier Reef. But with little movement between colonies, the species has genetic diversity. Ideal for studying the effects of climate change. That way we can really tease apart all of these different traits that are necessary to cope with these challenging stressors. Scientists hope the shark inspires reef conservation efforts. We just need to find that one thing that people can latch onto to care about because it's so, so, so worth it. So worth it. When we introduce the community, the general public, the, the kids at school to the black shark, everyone falls in love. Baz Ruddick, ABC News, Townsville.